Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. But we are starting from the penthouse, and uh, we got some things to do, man. And today, I, I you know, I'm gonna try my best to go over three new mansion. Not really new mansion because we got the Jimmy Mansion, we got the Chumash um, Beach Mansion, and also we'll try the Zen Mansion. So let's get downstairs. I'm not gonna eat over here. We'll eat out today. <laughs> we'll eat out again, though, man. I just realized we've been eating out a lot today. I mean, for the past couple of weeks. But um, yeah, let's get started. And the next vehicle we're gonna remove from this garage. We did the Ferrari last time. Man, this place feel empty now. Ah, oh, the Rolls Royce. Only because I have a spot where I'm moving it to, and then we might have to pick up this McLaren GT. And uh, so after I show you guys the three mansion, we are picking up Stradman. Gallardo, oh, aka Gallardo. I, I usually say Gallardo. You guys like for me to say Gallardo, you know, whatever the name is. Let's go. We deleting this man. This was one of my favorite though. So you know what? First thing we should do is check out Jimmy's mansion. So I think Jimmy's selling it, and uh, definitely let me know if you guys want me to bring back the Jimmy's episode. But I know Jimmy's mansion is around the school, so let's head that way. But um, definitely a big shout out to my boy Akil. Actually, both Akil. Shout out to you, Akil, and you, the other Akil. You know who you are. So right now we're about to go get some food from that spot, man. And uh, talking about that in real life, I finally found like this good Jamaican spot. And man, I've been going back and forth over there like for the past couple of weeks. I'm like, yo, let me get some curry goat. Let me get some oxtail. Let me get all that, man. Oh, while we talking about food over here, but let's get our food, man. I'm at 20, 22%. I was about to say 25, 22%. And uh, let's get some food real quick. Yep, that will be $37. Hey, what up, my hey, what's, what's up, man? All right, so we got a full stomach. We are ready to start the day, man. I usually don't like going about 100% because, you know, after you had like a, you, you, you kind of eat more than you're supposed to. You end up getting like a little sleepy and stuff like that. This is why I don't, I didn't want Franklin to get sleepy. So, right, whoa. This guy just crashed. Oh, he took the whole pole. <laughs> okay. All right. So first location, Jimmy's mansion. I don't know exactly how to, you know, I think it might be like right here somewhere. Yeah, probably like right here. I don't even know if the GPS is going to give me the right, the right place to go. But um, yeah, just like I've been saying, man, appreciate all the support. I feel like we're doing daily, daily. Let's go to work now since you guys been watching and enjoying. Oh my goodness, yo. Okay, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. I don't know if I enjoy having damages. Damages on is like the worst now, man. All right, so instead of going this way, since I do have a problem with the map on this side, so we're about to go all the way around. So what we're gonna do is go all the way around, and uh, oh, whoa, that was close. That that was close. I'm driving so reckless right now. All right, so instead of going around this way. I'm actually going around that way. Let me see if it would just. Yeah, that's the way I wanted to go. I have to go around because there's a map that I install and for some reason that map never like this. This part that I had to remove and for some reason it just crashed the game every time I get there So or at least every time I pass around there. That's, that's also the main reason why I stopped the you know, let's stop for gas because we got we got a couple of couple of stops. What's up, man? I'm trying to get right here. All right. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm going to miss this right here, man. I remember we drove this a couple of times at least. I'm going to miss this. Maybe we should drive this more often. Let me know. We usually drive this when we do like Uber jobs and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully we can actually drive this a little bit more. But um, now, if you had a choice, this is between me and you guys, of course. If you had a choice between this. And the Urus, which one would you pick? <laughs> which one would you pick? I mean, personally, I will pick the Urus, but I'll let you guys. This is the Mensery Kit version. Think about it for a second. Mensery Kit version of this car most likely is is way probably more expensive than the Urus for sure. But which one would you guys pick, man? And I think you guys are definitely gonna enjoy um, the Galato that I'm, I'll be bringing um, for Stradman. Oh, did I? Oh, I thought I just crashed. 
I thought I just crashed. No, it was a cop chasing somebody. Yo, I was like, wait, did the game just crash on me now? All right. Um, no, I think I just took the wrong exit. I took the wrong entrance. We do have a mansion up there too, but this was the wrong entrance. I think it was the other one. And just like I say, I hope you guys are going to enjoy these type of episodes. Of course, this should be it. All right, so let's check out Jimmy's mansion. Um, it's up for grab for cheap since Jimmy Jimmy needs needs some cash, and he's trying to let his dad know about it. So I don't know why he built this thing if he's gonna sell it like that. But you know what? Maybe he's gonna make a quick profit. I don't know, but he's selling. He's trying to sell it fast. So I know something might be up. All right, this is like this is kind of like a hideout mansion, though. Uh, you know, what? let's bring this to the parking. You know, I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys around, man. And if we go into his garage, Jimmy don't play, man. Jimmy don't play. Big dog over here, man. Look at that J dog, as you guys can see on the wall. All right, and definitely big shout out to my boy Guillo, man. Always hooking us up, always hooking us up. But J Dog on the wall like that. We got the Netflix stuff. All right, so um, let's check out the property. Rate this one to ten. Let me know what you guys think. I know some of you guys be like, "Yo, it's a hundred, bro. It's a hundred. No, come on, rate, rate this one to ten for me. And uh, as you walk in from the garage, we we see the kitchen, of course, the living room, nice little chilling spot. Jimmy don't live here anymore. We do have an, a big picture of Jimmy over here. Let me know what you guys think. Man, I could I could just imagine how much it costs to get like something like that. And uh, what's over here? Just the steps. All right, nothing else. We ain't going upstairs yet, man. I want to show you guys the first floor first. Then Jimmy have elevators up in here. All right, this is. This is oh, this is just a laundry room. I was gonna say this is not even a half bathroom, bro. And the gaming room, like Jimmy can't go without the gaming room, bro. He got a PS5 on the side with a big screen TV. Like when when his friends come over, you already know, you already know they up in here, man. And uh, when you walk out here, you can actually play ball. Oh, it does say Steve the gamer on the floor. <laughs> I remember this map. I remember this map. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. Wow, this is nice, but he does have a nice view of his school, even though he goes to school right there. Can you imagine though? Like if we don't show up to school, everybody see you hanging out right here. Like, yep, here go Jimmy again. Then show up to school, but he's up though. All right, so we're just looking around. We got the pool. What about if he throw a party and the teacher know he threw a party and uh, <laughs> nobody show up to class, bro. This is so dangerous. This is so dangerous, bro. All right, but um, I don't know if I'll throw a body over here, man. Especially the way it is, this would be so dangerous, man. I would be nervous. Somebody would like, I don't know. That's just, that's just saying. Oh shoot! You guys didn't see that? Oh man, I'm gonna owe Jimmy some money. I didn't mean to break the window like that, but you know what? We might just go in, go ahead and go in. I missed this gem. I'm surprised I didn't come in here. I, I guess I missed this door. Yeah, this door was on the side. All right, um, we went down this way already, and uh, let's see what's what's over here. Okay, so this is this is a half. Oh, and actually, yeah, this is definitely a half bathroom. We can't take a shower or anything. We've been in the living room. I think it's about that time to go upstairs now. We we'll find out what was over here too. I gotta be careful with the glass because I realize I can actually break some of these glass now. And uh, we went over here already. Wait, what, what was over here again? Yeah, the gaming room. So wait, what was over here? I thought like when we went in, that was the gaming room. So what's over here? Oh, this is Jimmy's office. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I almost missed this room right here. This is Jimmy's office, man. Let me stay away from the windows because I know they can actually break. All right, so enough with that. Let's go upstairs now. Just like I say, rate Jimmy's um, mansion. One to ten. He's selling it. Do you guys think he should keep it or just sell it? Let me know. All right, we got. We, we're going to the left. Oh, actually, we missed the first door. Is that a bedroom? Wow, nice artwork though. 
All right, we got the bathroom over here. Nice closet. And uh, yeah, this is a bedroom. This is nice. This is nice. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, stay away from the windows now. Let me know what you guys think so far. And let's just keep on moving. And what is this over here? Wow. Okay, look at that closet. Look at this bedroom. Oh, oh, with a balcony, of course. With a balcony. That's 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 nice. I'm wondering what the Zen place looked like because I haven't been there in a while. Wow. Oh, let me show you guys an outside view real quick, though, man. Can you imagine Jimmy like I, I guess daddy's money? Jimmy affording all this. We got the basketball half basketball court on this side. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. We all we are almost at the top floor. This is nice, though. I don't know about security when it comes to like you can actually, you can actually just walk down this way and uh, oh he does have solar panel too. All right, so enough with this room. Let's go on the other, oh you guys didn't see that. Let's go on the other side of the um the house right now. Oh. I like it though. I mean, this is definitely for Jimmy. The same for me. Basement parking. Yeah, I know. We already know. All right, let me guess. This is the main bedroom. No, this is definitely not the main bedroom. I guess the other room over there was the main bedroom. Oh, this might be the main bedroom. Yeah, I think this might be the main bedroom, bro. Let me know. Is this the main bedroom or the other one? They both look nice, though. I'm guessing this is a bigger bathroom. This is all right. Yeah. So you guys be the judge. You guys be the judge on this property. And uh, I think yeah, I think we're done with this. I think I'm ha I'm heading to the Ch um, Chumash um, Beach Mansion, and then after that we have to pick up Stradman Gallardo. Yeah, I show you guys the outside already. Let's grab this Rolls Royce and let's get out of here. I hope it didn't disappear or anything. Yeah, it's right here. This is a nice place with Jimmy though. AKA daddy's money. <laughs> Let me stop. Actually, somebody called me out the other day, bro. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. It was like, yeah, look like, I mean, look like daddy's money. How can you afford this and that? This, you know, it, they were going in about, about everything. I was like, okay, you know, I'm not even gonna let them know nothing. They, I mean, she was just assuming everything. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna just chill. I actually met her at Publix and I was like, okay. And you know, you know what I did too? I was like, you know what? Since you want to be like that, I don't know. I, it was no problem for me because it didn't bother me like that. I even pay for a grocery. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to pay for your grocery real quick. Yeah. <laughs> was that, was that bad of me though? Let me know guys. Let me know her grocery. I think it came up to like what two something. But it was like, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. She'll learn one day. All right. So anyway, guys, we are heading uh, to the next property, which I uh, will be dropping this Rolls Royce. Um, I have my Range Rover over there, and uh, we'll be dropping off this. All right, you know what? Let's cut through here. By the way, I remember back in New York, I got a ticket for doing this. I got a ticket for passing through the gas station instead of waiting for the light. I remember that <laughs> the officer really. And uh, when I say the officer waste my time because I had to go to work. So I was just, you know, I was just doing my thing, trying to go around and, you know, doing whatever you do. Right. And uh, yeah, and some of you guys be like, you get pulled over a lot. Yeah, I do, man. I do. I mean, lately I haven't been pulled over like like that, but I remember when I used to drop my little putt, but yeah, I used to get pulled over a lot. Even the GTR get pulled over a lot. For some reason, they don't pull over the G wagon though. Nobody pull over the G wagon. I think CC by got pulled over once in that G wagon. Wait, is that the property? No, that's not the property. The G wagon is like the boss. Like police don't mess with it. <laughs> nah, I think so. I I really think so. Like, I, oh, whoa, 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 I lost control. Like. I will get pulled over in a GTR so quick before I get pulled over in a G wagon. The G wagon, you probably get pulled over like every two years or something like that. 
But the GTR is like, okay, ticket for being too loud. Ticket for, um, I don't know, like whatever they can actually find. Oh, you're moving too fast. I don't know, whatever it is. Oh, here's the property, bro. Here's one of my other property that I like. The only thing I don't like about this property is the fact that it's all the way out here. What are they about to do? You already know it's about to go down. Is he chasing that BMW right here? No, he's not chasing him. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 dude. Wow. 1997. What was that doing in 1997? I don't even know. Some of you guys probably was not even born around 1997. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're pulling up to the house. I guess I'll block the Range Rover. These guys are still going at it. Yeah, I don't want to live. I don't want to live right here, bro. These guys are still going at it right now. Yeah, just like I say, I'll pick the GT. And uh, we'll be driving to the next location and then we'll be picking up. We'll check out the next location. Yo, they shooting so much to the point where it's like, yo, what are y'all doing, man? I'm gonna call 911 for this deputy. Shoot. All right, they, they walling out. All right, so as soon as you walk in, I think this this location might have a movie theater or something like that. Okay, I would have definitely put all my tools in here, but this is the laundry room. And uh, let's go inside. Wow, you see the piano though? Like, whenever I walk into somebody's house and uh, see a piano, I'm like, you fancy, huh? <laughs> Straight up fancy, for real, man. You see a piano like that? Look at that, man. You know how much a piano costs, bro? All right, what's over here on this side? The movie theater. Yep, I remember this. I remember this. Straight up. We got the movie theater with the snacks in the back. I wish we had a vendor machine because I don't want nobody to just grab. You know, when you have free snacks like that, everybody's just going to abuse it for real. Everybody's just going to abuse it. That's why I like to have a vendor machine, even though it costs one dollar. I'd be like, yo, it costs one dollar, bro. You can put one dollar up in there. That's it. All right, we got the pool, the outside view, and uh, this place is nice. And definitely a big shout out to my boy Guelo. Always hooking us up with some of the best properties in GTA. For real, he he does have some of the best properties in GTA, and uh, we do have a couple other modders too. I gotta make sure I put the links under the um, the video description, of course. But um, you guys already know. All right, can we go in here? Yes, sir. That's one of the bedrooms. This is pretty small though. This looks like an apartment. Uh, a nice bathroom. Okay. Okay, this is a full bathroom, by the way. We got back in this way. Um, we had uh, was it the kitchen? Yeah, the kitchen was on this side. Um, I guess the bar over here. What is this? A bathroom or oh, the gym? Okay, we got a gym up in here with the Nike sign though. Definitely big shout out to Nike. Wow, and definitely big shout out to my number one sponsor, man. My number one sponsor since um, I don't know since when um, AutoZone, not only AutoZone, also NASCAR. Definitely a big shout out to them. You guys already know I'm always giving big shout out to the two. All right, so how do we get upstairs? Oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, how do we get upstairs? The steps are right there. Um, What about what about over here? All right, so this is one of the entrance this is one of the entrance. I'm guessing this is a bathroom. Yeah. This is the bathroom for like the main floor. And uh yeah, this is where we just came from. I was about to say, yo, what door is this? All right, so let's get back upstairs. Yeah, big shout out to NASCAR and AutoZone, of course. And uh let's go up here. Room on the right or oh, whatever this is. This is an office. And uh this is a nice office. I think I will spend a lot of hours up in here. Just working, just doing my thing. But only one thing, though, man. I can't do that one screen. I can't do that one screen, bro. Like I, I gotta have multiple screen. I guess it's just, it's just a thing for me. And what is this? What is this? A half bathroom with a view, though. I don't know. I don't know if I want to sit on the toilet and looking out like that. I don't know if I can do that, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's over here on the left. Oh, you know, before we go this way, let's find out what's over here. 
look like a whole a whole new section over there. Hmm. Okay. This is a nice bedroom. Um. Is this the main bedroom? Is this? This kind of looks like the main bedroom. I mean, this is this is big. And just like I say, man, I always enjoy um doing these type of episodes. Let me know if I should keep going. Like I got over maybe over 500 properties that we can actually go through. Like you guys already know, man. That's why we have over thousands of episode of Let's Go to Work because we got properties on top of properties on top of properties. Like for real. But we seen everything from this to, uh, from this closet to the bathroom. I don't know if this is the main bedroom, but um let's go to the other section of the house. All right, what is this right here? The doors are already open. This is a bathroom, okay? A full bathroom. Oh, nice, nice, nice. This look nice, man. Would you guys say this is the main bedroom? I kind of feel like this is the same way as the last property we just went to. Like we don't know which one is the main bedroom or not. It's like there's nothing crazy about the two like that, other than you know, a nice bathroom and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Which one would you say is the main bedroom? I guess the one with the um with the big TV over there. I'm guessing. But I'm um, just like I say, I'm taking out the GT guys. Let's get out of here. And uh I'll show you guys the outside of this property real quick. Let's see what we got. <laughs> yes, this is the Shum Chumash beach location. We got the nice balcony over there. Let me know what you guys think, man. So this is the second property. Property number one, rate that for me. This is property number two. No, no, no. The, actually, let's say Jimmy's property um is number one. This is property number two. And then the third property which we're heading to, we're gonna pick it up. Uh, we're gonna be picking up um Stradman um Gallardo. And then we can actually um head back to his place. But let's take the GT. I gotta take the GT to my um I guess my it is is more like a Japan garage, but we need we needed to move this anyway. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know, like yo, I the GT is alright. I don't know. I'll get a 570 before I get something like this. And we don't have no plates, so I ain't stopping for no cops, bro. Alright, so we are heading all the way across. All the way over here. We are picking up the Galato. This sounds nice though. Okay, I hit some some turp skis. Let's see, first person view. Okay. Oh, oh, don't lose control now. Third gear still? Come on, let's get up to fourth. Okay, there you go. Have to step. Oh, so I'm having to go all the way around. All right, this is gonna be all the way up there. That's okay though. I should have went there. I should have went there first, but I didn't want to put no miles on um, Stradman Twin Turbos, bro. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. I know it probably bring back so much memories for him because can, can you imagine though? So I re I was doing my research. I saw that he recently rebuilding the engine of that Twin Turbo um, Gallardo. And I could just imagine how epic that car is going to be. I don't know. Th does he have that car yet? Because I was looking up some videos. I haven't seen that car. So I've seen some update on where they building it. I think somewhere in Chicago or something like that. But other than that, I didn't see no other updates like that. But definitely big shout out to Stradman, of course. Just like I say, I'm going to make sure the link since um, I kind of feel like um, because we're doing this garage and doing all that stuff. I feel like it's fair enough to just, you know, put his name and all that, making sure that we link his channel and all that. You guys, you guys already know how we do, man. Let's hurry up. They got me taking a bunch of shortcut. That cop ain't giving up, though. That cop is like, sir, I am coming for you. I am coming for you right now. No, sir. No, sir. I'm in a McLaren GT, bro. Maserati. I don't know why I'm never like. I don't know. I never got like. You, you always see like when you see a Lambo like wow, like like this. Look at this. Like wow, I can't wait to get this. But the McLarens, I don't know unless it's like a 720 or 765 LT or something like that. 
Oh, 600 LT. I don't know. I'm not that crazy about this. <laughs> just it. Just me. Just me. I know some of you guys might love this McLaren over here. Just not that crazy, man. This look like a, I don't know. I feel like even if I customize this, it's not even going to be my cup of tea. Not hating on McLaren or anything like that. It's just that's not it. That's not it for me. All right now, let's hurry up. I bet McLaren will be like, let me let you drive this for a bit. <laughs> no, I never drove this though. I never drove this. It's just the star doesn't cut it for me yet. At least this kind of give me like a Lotus vibe. I don't know if you guys agree with me. This McLaren right here. Give me the, like, I don't know, like I'm driving a Lotus or something like that. All right, so right now, guys, we're pulling up to my other property. Um, remember the deer broke the glass last time. I hope that there's no deer in this property right now, but we here. We here. We dropping off the McLaren over here. One of my favorite property, of course. Do we have any more space? So we have to move some cars before we have some space. Yes, I got my maximum, my all thirty four. You know, you know, you, you guys already know, man. I feel like I grew up on like um because of my dad, I grew up on like Japanese cars and stuff like that, man. So he loved Mitsubishi's, he loved his Nissans and all that. So I mean, you guys, you guys wonder why I have a Nissan GTR. I'm not that crazy about like anything else, but like these type of cars. But and also big shout out to TJ Hunt, man, on getting that all 34. That was always a goal of mine. I don't know. I, he, you know what? I guess because of the price now, or maybe I'm just going to take my time until I get an all 34 or something like that. But let's check out the property, guys, before we move. Um, so this is not exactly like Shrad Mangalado, but this is the closest Gallardo that I can that I can actually find on GTA to to even um come closer to, to um, Stradman Twin Turbo Garado over here. But once you guys hear the sound, see how I drive. I think you guys definitely going to enjoy this. But in the meantime, let me show you guys the property real quick before we get out of here. And then we'll be heading to this place and check out the rest of the, um, you know, just drop off the car and check out the rest of the spot. But as you walk in here, I think some of you guys might remember this property, but the deer did end up breaking this glass and we fixed it. We fixed it for sure. And uh, look at my office. Let me know what you guys think. So this is property number three, guys. Rate this one to ten. What you guys think? We do have to pull in the back, of course, man. With the big TV, you can actually sit here, enjoy our food. You know the old tradition. Just sit down, no TV, and just sit down and eat our food. We got the kitchen, the updated kitchen, though. Updated kitchen. I feel like the kitchen in my house in real life right now is so outdated. Extremely outdated, bro. We got some of the oldest stuff in our kitchen. We got a nice bathroom over here, a full bathroom on the main floor. And what's over here? We got a hallway. We got the laundry mat over here. We got another full bathroom. We got two full bathrooms on the main floor. What's up with the Nike sign, though? Definitely a big shout out to Nike, though. Sauna, um, what else? We got hallways, man. And the gym. All right, we can actually get out from this way, I think. Yep. But look at look like look, come on, man. Somebody took their time and build this place. Somebody took their time and build this place. I could just imagine what this place looked like at night. But somebody definitely took their time, build this place. I like I like stuff like that. The same way I like you know some of these GTA five mods where Certain cars I don't add to my game because I know the person did not take their time to build this thing from like scratch, man. But let me know what you guys say. We do have a bar up here. This is a party spot. This is a vibe, bro. Can you imagine a nice Sunday chilling here, having uh, I don't know maybe a couple people up in here, barbecue. Yeah, this was this was a summer vibe though, man. This place was going out on Airbnb like every weekend. So, hey, we got it back. It ain't going out like that, but we got it back. We got it back. All right, so let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's check out the rest of the place and then we can actually move on. And just like I said, man, I hope you guys are all going to enjoy today's episode. We did. We did some cool stuff today, man. And uh, last but not least, we're going to drop off. Um, definitely big shout out to Strad, man. Of course, you you can actually find his channel under this video description. Wow. Okay. Some more bathroom, man. I feel like Lil Wayne for real, man. 
Oh, okay, okay. Nice closet. This might be the main bedroom. I feel it. This might be the main bedroom over here. Let me know. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm, I'm having to like figure out which one is the main bedroom or not. Let me see. We can actually get out. Oh, okay, okay. They block it. I was about to say hazard. <laughs> All right, we good. We good. Nice little balcony. We can actually look over the party. All right, and uh, let's go to the. I'm guessing this is another bedroom, on the other side. What's over here? Big closet. All right, I probably would need a closet for my sneakers because I collect I collect so much sneakers, man. Okay, this might be the guest bedroom, guys. What you guys think? Yeah. Things are a little Hi. bit smaller. Oh, okay. I didn't see you, buddy. How you doing, man? I I did not see this dude. I guess uh, this thing is still on Airbnb. I gotta call my accountant. <laughs> Just like in real life, I be calling my accountant. I was like, yo, <laughs> my accountant be coming at me like, Steve, you broke. Don't spend no money. <laughs> That's the best way to get me not to spend anything. I'd be like, but I want these 4090s though. It's like, no, no. You'll get them later. Get the second bash or something like that. <laughs> oh, though, just just playing around though, guys. But she be she be you know she be hooking me up. She be trying her best not to not to let me spend money like that, which is good, man. Um, this is definitely the guest bedroom, but this is a better balcony though. I mean, we don't look over the city, but this is a nice balcony. Because I was telling her like I was like, yo, can I get two forty nineties? I was like, no, you could get one. <laughs> I was like, can I can I buy a new car? You know, can I? I just be playing around like that. But anyway, guys, this is the last property. You guys, let me know. Can we um can we rate this from one to ten? Let me know. And uh, right now we got some cars to move. I got to move my Maxima. I always want to get a Maxima again, though, man. That's that's one of the cars. Like I remember in Brooklyn, most of my boys had Maximas. I was the only one with no Maxima, bro. I had a Mitsubishi Galant. They all had Maximas. I always wanted a Maxima. Never, just never got it. All right, so we're gonna move this Maxima right over here. I think this should still give us enough space. Let me see. Did they could do a good job on the interior? Hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm going back in there just to look. Yeah, clean Maxima over here. Man, you guys don't know the struggle. Man. Talking about like talking about right now though. Uh like every cost power steering. I remember back in the days, man, there was no power steering. Uh, you had to know how to drive a stick shift for sure. All right, this GTR is probably the fastest GTR in the game. I gotta be careful. I tap the gas, it's just gonna move. Oh shoot. Alright. Just tapping the gas. Oh my goodness. Yo, when I say okay. We good. I can't believe I'm making it. Oh my goodness, that was a nearly miss. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't don't hit the McLaren. All right, I'm gonna park it uh, across the street. Like, you guys don't know how fast this GTR is. You guys, you guys gotta see this on the track or something like that. All right, so I just park it across. Let's bring the Gallardo out, and uh, yeah, we're dropping off. Uh, we're dropping this off the Stradman, and then we should be all set for today. Like I say, man, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. All right. This is supposed to be twin turbo. Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, we got to be whipping this. We got to go all the way to his house in Sandy. So I don't know if you guys got to be able to hear me over this. This kind of felt like real life. Like when a car is fast, you could tell right away because it felt like you. You driving with a uh, with a uh, elastic holding you because it's like it's ready to pull. But you know, unless you unleash the beast, you ain't pulling like that. But what's happening? Okay, as long as the cops don't do anything crazy. Okay, he's chasing somebody else. All right, uh, you guys want a sneak peek of how fast this GTI is? I just want to tap the gas real quick, and you guys will see. There's so many turns around here. Nice Lambo. All right, just a little. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right, from right here to over there, just a pull real quick. 
Oh my. Okay, no, no, I'm not doing it. Let's just bring it back. This is the, just like I said, this is the fastest GTR in the game. I'm gonna just let it roll. Oh, did the, did the Maxima just fell through? I think the Maxima just fell through, bro. And we got the all 33 over there. Actually, you guys didn't see that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, exactly what I was saying. This thing is too fast. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave at this point. Can't handle this. All right. So I'm just wondering if the maxima. So what happened is when we get too far from the map, things fall through the map. If you didn't save them properly. Yep. The maxima did fall through. Uh, what we're going to do is just bring it back. I show you guys didn't see that and let's bring it back in. Uh, let's bring the McLaren GT back in as it was falling through the map too. And then we're gonna take the car out of a drive. Yeah, the Maximus front wheel drive, by the way, make life so much easier. Like, look at this burnout with a front wheel drive. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave this here. Oh man, I remember having to put like a tray uh, behind these cars. Trust me, we'd be walling out. We'd be walling out with some of these cars, even though they are front wheel drive. Doesn't mean like you can't unlock. Doing a drift, bro. All right, let's bring the McLaren up in here. All right, so guys, um, some of you guys were saying I'm missing another evented off a Stradman garage. So today, let's just say we got a chance to check out three properties, and also um, we are heading to Stradman garage with this guy out over here. But I hope you guys did enjoy this, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this. All right, so I got a chance to install this sound. Hopefully, you guys gonna enjoy that too. But just, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go, man. We're gonna. Oh, I hope we get a chance to race one of these Aventadors that we keep seeing because this is a twin turbo. Let's go. I just realized the speedo's not coming up. I guess this is like a really older car. Wait, I have to like get out and get back in real quick. Let me see. Is it gonna come up now? Yeah, it doesn't come up for this car. Oh, okay, it does now. It does. I want to see our top speed, man. Let's see the interior. Okay. Oh my goodness. I want to lose control. That's the last thing we need. It's going to be a nice drop, though. Oh, my God. I might just get, go ahead and stay quiet because I'm just enjoying this car right now. Let's go. That's definitely a cop. That was definitely a cop. Oh my yo, we crashed at the same spot as yesterday. <laughs> yo. Oh, we're gonna have a free road. We're gonna have a free road, so we should be all set. Don't tell Stradman I was running away from the cops where his car, bro. Woo. I have enough gas too, I'm out. We lost a cop already, bro. Let's go. But anyway, guys, I guess this is gonna have to do it because we are almost. Oh, we got another cop. We are almost at the house. Basically, all I'm gonna do is park this and go back home, man. But we lost that cop already too. Oh, this is a beast. All right, so we're just gonna park this at his house, and uh, I think we're gonna have to call it over here, man. I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this, and uh, definitely thank you. Oh, that's the last cop. I don't want to. I don't want to get stopped by him. But we here though, man. I'm stuck behind the tractor. But um, yeah. So we're just gonna drop this off, and definitely thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You guys already know how we do, man. Until next time. Peace.